Your Excellency, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President, Mr. President, honorable leaders. It is with great urgency that I am addressing you today as the world is experiencing increased impacts from climate change. The track at which climate action is moving is simply unbalanced to the climate impacts to come, which is why it is crucial to act on all fronts as per Article 3 of the Convention and Article 2 of the Paris Agreement. While ensuring the delivery of the necessary means of implementation and support for developing countries to effectively participate in the race against climate change. I am also addressing you today as Lebanon is facing many challenges, including social, economic, banking, financial, and monetary crisis, coupled with the COVID-19 pandemic, the August 4 port explosion, and the impact of Syrian refugees. Adverse climate impacts will add an additional layer of challenges and set back any improvement in Lebanese socio-economic status. Temperatures will increase, leading to long period of drought and substantial reduction of snow cover. Sea, level, sea levels will gradually rise, expected to cause massive damage to coastal infrastructure and associated economic losses. National studies estimate losses of approximately $1.4 billion by 2040 associated with the rising sea levels. Another report by UNDP points out that the total cost of climate change on the Lebanese economy is estimated to be $16 billion by 2040. Distinguished participants and colleagues, Lebanon has responded to the global call for ambition and beliefs in fighting the climate crisis through adopting a pathway towards sustainable development. Lebanon crises have put, have put us in a position of choice pertaining to the way we will recover. The key concepts which should be at the core of this recovery are sustainability and resilience. And it just so happens that these concepts are embedded in climate action and consequently Lebanon's updated national, nationally determined contribution. Lebanon has enhanced the ambition of its NDC by increasing its unconditional renewable energy target by 15 to 18 percent by year 2030, which will lead to at least an additional 25 percent emission reduction compared to Lebanon's 2015 NDC. Lebanon's update NDC is an important milestone for ambitious climate action in the country, which clear implications for the implementation of Agenda 2030 for sustainable development, particularly in relation to green economic growth, affordable and clean energy, food security, improved air quality, and gender equality. In this sense, these climate pledges, priorities, and organizers constitute a critical roadmap for implementation, for implementation and support. We are increasing our readiness to absorb that support to accelerate the NDC implementation as, as well as mainstream the concept of a green economy. We call on all international partners to positively engage with its dedicated facility to secure a greener transition in Lebanon. Lebanon will also submit a, a, a 2050 long-term strategy for low emission and resilient development strategies, which prioritize as green, a green and circular economy, a decoupling of economic growth and greenhouse gas emissions. This strategy also aims to explore how Lebanon can achieve a net zero emissions economy. 
Lebanon is at the forefront of countries seeking to achieve human and environmental sustainability and a supportive partner for regional and international efforts to combat climate change. Our national vision believes that the future of humanity lies in green solutions, wise management of environmental assets, and the importance of coordination between national, regional, and international green initiatives. Lebanon's beautiful nature is our most important asset, and we will act to protect and preserve our green Lebanon. Therefore, Lebanon highly appreciate the effort of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the set of initiatives it has put forward to protect the environment and tackle the climate change challenges. It's keenness to launch the Green Middle East Initiative, which will benefit all the Middle East region. Lebanon is ready to cooperate and positively engage for such initiatives and stand ready to play a regional role, potentially becoming a hub in sharing its experience among the regional partners. We are encouraged to see that we are not alone in tackling the climate change challenges. Inclusive and sustainable green recovery will put the world on a path to reach climate neutrality by 2050 and with it a wealth of solutions to poverty, inequality and pollution. Thank you, Mr. President.